what is up guys this video is going to be for twitch streamers youtube streamers facebook gaming streamers wherever you're at this video will suit you now you all know there's a big shortage on webcams right now right and even if you can get your hands on one they're like double the price a logitech uh, c920 cam is usually like what 90 bucks they're 150 right now overpriced all right but i have a solution for you your phone this thing can connect to your pc and you can use your phone as your webcam and you can also get up and move around and take videos so if you're a streamer being able to be mobile away from your desk and show your viewers things is pretty sweet. Anyway, this video is going to be about that. Uh, let's get started. Let's get it done. All right. So the first things that we're going to talk about are one, what is it? And two, how does it work? One, it's called IV cam. Uh, it's made by a company called E2E soft and I'm not sponsored by them or anything. This video is just solely to help people out. Um, but anyway, the way that it works is you download their app on your phone, you download the app on your computer, and they communicate through, uh, through your internet to get the video from your phone to your computer. Um, it's free, it works amazing. I use it on my own stream um, for like getting up and being mobile, but it can be used for your webcam, it can be used for doing how I use it, and it is just amazing. So without further ado, let's move on to the next part, which is me showing you where to get it and how to set it up and then showing you what it does. Okay, so now we are on the E2E Soft website and you can just Google IV Cam. It'll take you to this exact same screen where it tells you how to do it. So if you have Windows, which you most likely do if you're a streamer because this stuff doesn't work really that great on uh, Mac software, whatever, so for whatever reason, uh, and you need to get it on your phone. So I already have both of them on here. You literally just type in IV Cam. It comes up uh, super easy to download. And then all you do after that is connect it, which I'm also going to show you to do right now. Okay, so now I have the program open. This is after you install it. This is the first thing you'll see is this waiting for IV cam connection. It'll have the same exact thing on your phone uh, when it's also looking. So uh, I had to do a couple things, which I'm going to show you in just a second, kind of a troubleshooting thing. Um, it's really easy, really quick, straightforward. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's got some settings here. You can hit this. You can change uh, what the video size is. I have mine set to 1080, which you'll see in just a moment. These are just like the standard settings that it has. Uh, once you first install it. And I also should say, you can do 1920 by 1080 for one month with the free trial, but it's like 20 bucks, I think. And you can have this for lifetime at whatever you want, even even more than 1920 by 1080. Um, and it's only 20 bucks, you know? So being able to have that mobile, you know, ability to move around and have it as a webcam for just 20 bucks or not even pay, you can use it for free with a decent uh, video size still for a webcam. Is pretty sweet. Anyway, uh, you can change all sorts of different stuff here. And uh, at the bottom, it's got audio. This will pick up audio. I have mine set to mobile phone because I like to walk away. Um, and obviously I'm not next to my mic. So something's got to pick up audio, which is the phone. Um, and then you can have your playback device. You're gonna have to make sure when you set it up in OBS that you, if you're gonna use the audio that is, uh, that you match these up. So make sure that you're uh, doing that properly. If you want to use it, not as just a webcam if you're using it as a webcam i assume that you most likely have a mic um but yeah the audio is very versatile you can change it pretty easily and it's just a really nice interface it's very simple straightforward has what you need doesn't have what you don't need and i like that the next thing that i want to show you is what i had to do i had to go to my control panel uh system security windows defender and you go allow an app through windows firewall so you're going to go here uh, when you find one that says E2 eSoft, you want to make sure that both of these are checked. Both of these must be checked in order for this to work or the firewall will not allow the connection from your phone through to your PC. It's automatically going to, uh, most likely it's automatically going to be blocking it just for the safety of your PC. Uh, so you want to unblock it. And if it doesn't show up right here, you can allow another app and you can browse for that exact app. Make sure it says application when you add it and you can then do it manually. That's what I had to do is I had to actually go here um, and browse for it. So after I did that, it started working immediately. So just keep that in mind. You might not even have to do it, but I just thought I'd throw that in there just in case you do. The first thing you're gonna see on your PC is the exact screen that I'm on right now. This same screen is gonna be on your phone. Um, now I have dark mode on on my phone, so it's actually black on my, on my phone, but uh, the way that this works is right now, I'm going to hit the 
this little this little play button here and now my phone is broadcasting directly to my pc so the way that this works is my phone is sending a wireless signal to my router and my router is sending that signal uh, through the ethernet cable into my pc so it's really nice as long as you're within your wireless network range um, you can basically do 1080p to your PC. What's nice about this is it lets you walk around, lets you go wherever you want, and you can use it as your webcam, you can use it as a, a third point of view, like a third person point of view, or just a different um, a different direction. I don't know which lens to, to look at right now, but um, I'll show you right now how it looks from the, the phone by itself with the phone audio, because I'm gonna be mostly using this uh, either as a third uh, perspective or a different perspective for my viewers or I'm gonna be using it mobile and, and going upstairs, doing cooking streams with my wife, stuff like that. So I'll show you what that looks like as well. So I just switched over to the other scene and now I'm able to literally go wherever I want in my house. I've gone outside uh, here over my mobile audio devices. I'm using a, a Samsung. You're using um, my audio for my phone right now instead of my mic. That allows me to go anywhere I want. I can go anywhere I want in the house. I can go outside. Um, I can show off, you know, my uh, my setup. I could do literally whatever I want around my house. Now I'm on a gimbal right now, so it looks really nice and smooth. Um, they have gimbals like 50, 60 bucks. I have the gimbal actually in my kit. If you want to see which gimbal I have, um, it's a really nice addition, and just being able to freely move about and have your audio with you is a massive massive deal at least for me and unlocking the the potential for other streams i mean even think about this so i've got this other little spot right here right i could do drawing streams if i want you know you can use your flash on on the camera you can have your flash permanently on so there's lighting i could set my phone with the gimbal up here or just a normal tripod facing down and have like just like a little a little a little light right here these lights right here cost 10 bucks on Amazon, also in my kit. Clamp it right there. Then you can do drawing streams. You can do all sorts of stuff literally from your phone. So I don't know, this is a huge deal to me uh, when I learned about it. Shout out to Medixi. Um, it was a big deal. So I've set every, everything up for myself. I've showed you guys how to set this up and uh, I'm gonna show you now how to apply it into OBS. That's gonna be the next little thing we do here. Okay, so now what I'm gonna show you is gonna be on my streaming PC. Uh, I'm going to show you how to add the source and how to how to put it as your web camera. OK, so follow along with me. We're on my stream PC now. OK, um, I have duplicated my main screen. This is my main screen. Um, we're going to go back to the stream PC so you can see what's going on. So you can see my cursor. Uh, you're going to add the scene or in my case, I've just duplicated it. My new scene is right here. Um, and once you're in this scene, I'm not going to go there yet because uh, I want to show you. You're going to hit this plus sign and you're going to add a window capture. Now it's important that you have IV cam in the background, full screen, just like this. Okay. It has to be full screened and you are going to add it as a window capture. So what you're going to be basically doing is having OBS capture that window. Okay. So mine's IV cam. You can see it right here. Uh, we're going to add the source and this source is now on top of the one that you were just watching. I'm going to minimize it and we're going to switch over to the other source that i created sorry the other scene that i created um that's identical to this one which is right here so we're exactly where i just left off on the stream pc one now we have this camera in place of my sony so the way that you're going to make this work for a webcam okay is hold alt and you can slide this over and it'll crop the edge okay so you hold alt crop the edges off and you my friends now have 1080p from your phone now you're going to put this over here you're going to line it up and now you have a 1080p make it a little smaller you now have a 1080p webcam for your streams. It's nice, nice quality. It's 60 frame. You can you can even adjust the frame rates. You can make it 60 frames, 30 frames, 24. Just depends on what you want. 
but you have the ability to move around if you want to. Um, you can make it full screen because it's 1080 and you know rescale it if you're streaming at 720, whatever you're doing. I'm telling you, this is the, the best way to have a webcam in 2020, 2021, whatever year we're in now. Very, very nice quality. Everyone's got smartphones. Um, it's extremely difficult to get a quality webcam and most quality webcams aren't even as good as your phone's camera. Um, so again, I really think this is a big deal, especially if you're gonna just start streaming. Um, this is a cheap way to get into it. Uh, you use your phone, you can use it as a tax write-off and end of the day, you're mobile, you have mobile audio and it's just a big, big, big deal. Okay, one other thing I do wanna show you is how to color correct. So uh, if you go into filters, you're gonna right click on whatever filter or whatever uh, source you're trying to adjust. So in our case, we're gonna adjust the IV cam. So we're gonna right click it. It's gonna pop up with this drop down menu. You're gonna hit filters. Okay, you're gonna add a filter. The filter that we're adding is called color correction. Okay, and then for this, uh, I think it's got, I think it's a little too bright. So I'm gonna darken it a little bit. Um, my skin's a little, a little uh, less. I'm, I'm not that much of a ghost, all right. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna lower this to what's a little more accurate to real life. Um, and like, like, like I said, you can adjust this stuff for your game as well. It makes your game more vibrant. Um, you can brighten it up, darken it if it's too bright. If it's got that white haze to it, you can adjust that out of it. Um, so it's a really, really nice filter to have is uh, the color correction. Don't go too crazy with it. Uh, but it's real nice to just make little tick adjustments and improve it drastically. So uh, that's with it. That's without it. Not a huge difference, but it does make a difference. And, you know, we can even adjust it a little more. So, you know, it's not a huge adjustment, but those tiny little things, they all add up into making a really good quality stream. And this is just one of those little tiny adjustments. Um, so that's about it for the filters. Now let's move on to the end of the video. And there you have it guys. That is how to use your phone as a webcam or a IRL mobile streaming device that has audio included with it. That's 1080p, 60 frames a second, which you can even lower and, and make it bigger than 1920 by 1080p. Um, so it's, it's a, like I said, it's a big, big deal if you're a streamer to be able to be mobile and look around stuff like that, show your viewers, you know, a different perspective of your room that you're streaming from, or if you want to move to your, uh, you know, to your kitchen to do a cooking stream, you can now stream from your PC still rather than using um, like Streamlabs, for example, the app on their phone. Um, so your viewers aren't seeing something totally different. They're seeing your usual broadcast from just a, a different spot. Um, now, if you're going to be doing this away from your house, I don't know of a way to do it without being connected to your network. I'm sure there is ways of doing it. I just don't know of that yet. Uh, so you would have to use like stream, stream, the Streamlabs app for that, for that sort of stuff. Uh, as far as being at your house or even in the backyard of your house or the front yard or somewhere around your house within your Wi-Fi um, range, you can do this. It works amazing and I highly, highly recommend it in place of a webcam. Even if you already have a webcam, just try it out. See how it looks. Um, see if it's better quality. See if it's got better frame rate. And uh, worst case, use your webcam. Anyway, guys, I love you. I stream on Twitch Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. to 5, 6 a.m. usually. And uh, I hope this video helps. Stay savage. I'll see you in the next video. And peace. Sometimes it's hard to keep my head up, but I still try. I get so fed up. Sometimes it's hard to keep my head up. I get so fed up. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to keep my head up.